Hello everyone, this is Jarek Defiler and we are moving on with A Patient Gamer Play Slay the Spire. We are moving on to Act 2 after doing the Act 1 boss with a result of 2 HP on the defect. I am definitely defected mentally here in this state because I finishing Act 1 with the 2 HP. I don't even know how that's possible. I didn't even try. But there you go. So we are going to proceed to the city. And I have never been to an Act 2 boss yet, so we're not going to see it here most likely. Um, I mean, I got my HP back, but... Oh yeah, duh. I'm stupid. I forgot that you get your HP back when, when you go into a new Act. Man, so we can actually probably pull this off, maybe. <laughs> I'm a moron. I love being a moron. Anyways, we're going to go... Let's see, what route do we want to take? I got 286 gold, so I'd like to hit a merchant soon. So I'm thinking, uh, you know what, screw it, let's just do this route, avoid all the fights that we can, because <laughs> I just, after last run, act one, I don't think I can handle any more pain. So let's just, uh, do this guy here, the chosen, oh yeah, this one, oh, the silent, when I was playing, they wrecked me with this guy. Okay, so... That's 10. Um, I'll get 9. I don't, I don't even want to take 1 damage at this point. So I think I'm just going to... Oh, I do want to channel that dark, though. I do want to channel that dark. But then I'll, take, I'll have to take 1 damage. And I don't even want to take that much. It's good. We're going to play stupid. Let's be stupid. Oh wait, I have four energy. Oh yeah, I forgot. The fusion hammer gave me four energy, so I don't have to take any damage. Break down. Okay. That's cool. Mm. I totally forgot about that. That saved me. Love you, fusion hammer. Alright. I am playing like a moron. Let's see. This enemy tends to inflict a powerful negative effect on you. All right, um, in that case, I, I think I'll just hit him with 10 damage. No point in blocking, so I'll just... I guess I'll just do these three. Handle some lightning, hit him with it, hit and I keep forgetting that I have four energy. So, just get him with more damage, break in. And use that. <laughs> I need to read cards. Zero cost, man. Pay attention. Come on, Jared. Use your brain. I know it's small, but it's still in there. Seven. Have you play a non-attack card? Shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. Oh, I remember this. All right. In that case, he's gonna hit me for ten. Um. I'm going to be going ultra conservative here, so I'm going to D up, and then I will attack, evoke your next orb, channel the orb that was just evoked, right. and then, bam, take that baby, yeah. I do like these orbs. I, 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 this is a lot of fun because you can just the potential for this, for like really cool plays, is pretty powerful. Oh jeez, I can kill you for that. All right, I didn't take any damage. Oof. That was just the first fight. All right, deal 15 damage, reduce this card's cost by one this combat. All right, channel one frost, draw one card. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Once it gets to like a one cost or even a zero cost. Excuse me for sneaking into the mic, but my allergies are going crazy. Uh, cool head channeling and orb over here. Hmm. Like the frost orbs don't seem that great because they just don't really give a lot of like block and stuff. It's like you can get up to 10 block or something like that. I mean, 
two block a turn. That like you'd think that would be a little better. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing something. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try the street light. Use your potions, Jerk. All right, let's just go ahead and use do the random rooms. Oh no. You encounter a group of bandits wearing large red masks. Hello, pay up to pass a reasonable fee of all your gold will do. <laughs> Lose all of your gold? Uh, uh, 305 gold. But I, I have never fought these guys before and I have no idea what they can do. And that makes me want to fight them, so. Yeah. Now they don't have a lot of HP for now anyways. Alright, um Well hell yeah, let's start off with Ooh, don't want that yet. Uh let's start off with fish. Not attacking at least. Cold snap. I should get a block for sure. And then yeah, let's just do... Who's gonna attack next? Let's just hit him because he has low HP. Remove all your orbs, gain energy, and draw one card for each orb removed. No, I need those orbs right now. really love this art style. It, like, these guys are cool. Just like, he's just sitting there, he's tapping his foot. Like, these little, like, details and stuff in the, um, what does Dexterity do? In the animations are really cool. And, uh, the style's really cool. And he got the city back there. It's pretty nice. Alright, go for the eyes. Who's gonna be hitting harder? This enemy intends to block and attack for 9 damage. Okay, uh, you both are gonna be hitting me pretty decently. All right, I can go ahead and kill you. Oh, three block. Decreases block gain from cards. That is rough. Um, hmm. Let's do this first. Okay. Then let's do... Uh, I can't kill that guy and I can't invoke my orb so deal damage to the enemy lowest HP I could have taken him out but that's not gonna happen so I want to take the least amount of damage as possible so I can cast everything in here but who do I want to weaken and who do I want to well, first let's just get ah oh, man that's dexterity thing is rough Oh, should I just kill him? That way I won't take any damage. That's probably the best bet. But if I weaken... Yeah, let's just take out this guy. It's not ideal, but it's better than that. I'm gonna take some hits. I'm saying that'd be. Mm, that's not enough. That's not enough. Alright, so let's. Reduce you. That should be enough if I use this, right? Can I kill any, either of them? Can I kill him? There with nine. Do I, I don't have an attack on this, okay. So I can use I think I might be able to kill him. For yeah, I think I can kill him. So he has 13, and then, yeah, 
Okay. Just use that. And that should do it. Alright. Whew. Now, I'm getting into it, guys. I'm getting into it. I just have to remind myself to take my time, go slow, actually read the cards. That's my biggest weakness, I think. Well, among my biggest weaknesses when playing card games is I just go too fast because I'm just like a fast-paced kind of gamer in that way. And I don't read and actually take the time to look at the strategies and the possible cards. And I don't look at my other options. So I'll just see like one option. I'm like, okay, I can damage this guy, but then I, I might just forget about the other guys there and like what I can do with them and the possibilities. So I have to force myself to go really slow you know, take my time, and just like, oof. Okay, there's not really much I can do here. Uh, can I kill him? Nope, I cannot. Oh, wait, maybe I can't. Nope. Oh, he's one damage away. Really? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to take any more damage. Hey, red mask. At the start of each combat, apply one week to all enemies. Ah, oh, that's a relic too. Cool. Choose a card in your discard pile and return it to your hand. And I got a potion back for that. It costs zero this turn. Alright, so that was a good play to use that potion. Lose two focus, gain two strength, gain two dexterity. What's focus again? Increases the effectiveness of channeled orbs. Hmm. That could be potentially really good. But Steam Barrier gains six block, decreases cards block by one now. Gain one focus. Focus increases the effectiveness, so I want to lose effectiveness and gain two strength and dexterity. Or I kind of want to get use this, because I don't rely on orbs too much at this point. But I do... Uh, yeah. No, wait, I do. Yeah. No, this, this is one I wanted to pick? I don't know. I think I might have just picked the wrong one. Because I'm a moron. No. Yeah, I don't rely on orbs too much. But I kind of want to go... Like, I want to really play around with the dark orb. Because that orb is a lot of fun. It's just gnarly. And the other ones I don't really care for that much. I mean, the lightning one's good too. But the dark orb is pretty cool. I want to try to build to that, but I should have probably got the other card. I don't know. I think it's fine either way. Alright. I think we're going to call it a day here. Or well, actually, let's just do this next one right here. Venturing through a series of tombs, you are faced with a large sarcophagus studded with gems in the center of a circular room. You cannot make out the writing on the coffin. However, you do notice black fog seeping out from the sides. That's not ominous at all. Open coffin. Obtain a relic. 50% become cursed. Ride. Unplayable. Innate. Yeah, I don't mind cursed cards, right? You push open the coffin as you do. Black fog spews forth and covers the entire room. Inside, you find no body, only a relic. You take it and move onwards, coughing violently. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Really? That's the relic I get? Eh, that's... I mean, it's not, like, a bad thing, but, like, that's... Like, when do I ever deal four or less damage? I mean, does that count towards orbs too? Lightning? If that does, that's cool. But I'm assuming that just counts towards cards. I don't know. Either way, I wish I had a different relic. Because <laughs> that's like. Uh, every time you play 10 attacks, game. Does that stack permanently? If that does, that's friggin' awesome. If I can, like, if that just stacks throughout your entire playthrough. That would be pretty dope. Um, Alright. We're going to call it a day here. We're moving on next. Uh, yeah, I'll do that next video. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed me making my stupid decisions and getting my ass kicked. But, uh, you know, it could have been a lot worse. So, take it easy. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, night, day, and whatever. Wherever you are. You know, hope it's nice. Hope it's not, you know, storming outside, raining or anything. I like the rain personally, but, you know, for you, if you don't, I hope it's not. But if you do like it, I hope it is. There you go. 
See, I really care about you. I'm doing all of this for you. Remember that. This has been Jared Defiler. Take it easy.